The global demand for drones. Have you ever pondered about the soaring global demand for drones, especially in recent wars? The advent of drones has revolutionized the domain of warfare. These machines minimize human risk and enhance strategic planning. Incredibly cost-effective, drones are now a crucial part of military worldwide. The perfect illustration is the TB2 TB2 drone from Baykar, a Turkish firm. Proving its mettle in recent conflicts, TB2 is now used by 30 countries. Its popularity is indicative of changing warfare dynamics. Make sure to subscribe to the Intel Prime channel for more enlightening content like The Rise of TB2 So, what exactly is the TB2 drone and why has it captured the world's attention? The TB2, a creation of Turkish firm Baykar, has become a hot commodity in the global market. This sophisticated piece of technology has demonstrated its mettle in recent wars, impressing military tech enthusiasts and nations alike. It's not just about its advanced tech, mind you. The TB2 has proven its worth in combat, showing the world what unmanned aerial vehicles are truly capable of. Now who wouldn't want a piece of that quite a few countries have acquired the TB2, from Qatar and Libya to Azerbaijan and Ukraine. The drone's appeal is broad and its reputation sterling. The TB2 has become a symbol of modern warfare, a testament to how far we've come in military technology. With its impressive performance and capabilities, the TB2 drone has certainly set a high bar in the drone market. The world is watching, and the TB2 continues to rise. The advent of TB3, enter the TB3 drone, the new kid on the block. But what sets it apart from its, the TB3, is Baykar's latest offering, taking its maiden flight in. This is a naval drone designed to work in tandem with the Turkish Navy's flagship, the TCG Anadolu aircraft carrier. The TB3 is different from the TB2 in several crucial aspects. For starters, it has folding wings, a feature that allows it to occupy less space on ship decks. Additionally, it boasts a higher maximum takeoff weight, enabling it to carry a heavier payload or more fuel, adding to its range. Countries with extensive shorelines and waters to protect might find the TB3 a tantalizing prospect. These may include nations already operating ships similar to the Anadolu, such as light aircraft carriers, landing helicopter docks, or amphibious assault ships. Despite having a naval-centric design, the TB3 drone may not have the same universal appeal as the TB2. Nevertheless, its export prospects look promising. The future of TB2 and TB3 so, what does the future hold the TB2 and TB3 drones? As we delve into the potential market for the TB3, it's important to note that countries that have already acquired the TB2 are natural candidates to receive the newer, more advanced version. This group includes countries like Qatar, Libya, Azerbaijan, and Ukraine. Nations with extensive coastlines and waters to defend, and those operating ships similar to the Anadolu, such as light aircraft carriers, landing helicopter docks or amphibious assault ships, may well want the TB3 for their navies. Countries from East Asia, NATO members and EU members, especially those located near China and Russia, such as Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Romania and others, might see the TB3 as an attractive addition to their naval forces. The TB3 is also likely to be a great fit for Japan's Izumo-class platforms, as suggested by Halak Bayraktar, CEO of Defense. Turkey is not just looking to export the TB3, but also has ambitions to expand its defense exports to include drone carriers. Ankara has expressed an interest in marketing the TB3 to countries operating landing helicopter docks and similar warships. In fact, Turkey is reportedly in the final stages of talks over a potential contract to build a landing helicopter dock similar to the Anadolu for export to one of the Arab Gulf collaborations with other countries and defense conglomerates are also on the horizon. The UAE defense conglomerate EDGE, for instance, has been in discussions with Baykar to integrate their missiles on some of Baykar's drones and possibly acquire the TB3 model eventually. While the TB3 may not replace the TB2 in terms of global demand, it certainly adds a new dimension to the drone market. As the world continues to embrace drone technology, the future of the TB2 and TB3 looks promising. Join Intel Prime Channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including early access to new videos, exclusive discounts on Intel products, behind the scenes content, live chat with me and other members, other options will be soon available. Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow.